10 miles per hour to 680 miles per hour. All the maneuvers you will see here today demonstrate the Hornet's capabilities in the tactical arena and are employed every day during combat and training flights. May I direct your attention to the, right, to the left, where you will hear the Hornet's two G. At 4, 4, 400 turbo fan engines spooling up to the maximum power, producing over 32,000 pounds of thrust.
worth not so much of a landing as a controlled craft. Approaching at 175 miles per hour, the pilot flies a steady turn and a quarter mile final approach. This speed allows only about 15 seconds for a slight to adjust the flight path to a touchdown area not much larger than the driveway. Notice that the Hornet approaches on the right. The gear will be down, the tail hook will be extended. It is the tail hook that allows the F-18 to land and stop on another 400 feet. From the right, we'll try to clear the building in the carrier convict pass. Look carefully and see the tail hook in the back.
Here's the Garrett props will come down with the hook off. Listen for the precise power change in the mild makes the aircraft is excellent guided on from the next spot at show center. Also notice that the aircraft does not flare prior to touchdown. Cone on the runway without slowing the rate of descent. This is somewhere between 700 and 1,000 feet per minute rate right of descent. You're talking a few G's going against that landing gear as you it down. Only naval and marine aircraft can take a portal punishment at this type of landing. After that, you will then perform a low transition to reposition for the Hornet photo pass. Now, as he comes down, look, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what? Natty, the first thing the pilot does when it touches down, what does the pilot do? Select full power. Why? In case you break a wire, break a hook, or you get waved off. So, here's the touch and go. Full power back on. Oh, 